What do, what do you make of this poll? You see, the poll is, the poll is it's pretty sorry, it depends who you ask. Right? The thing is, look, I think if we take all take a deep breath and look at the foundation of our very discussion should be the, how do we preserve life? That should be preservation of life on both sides, whether it's Israeli, Palestinian. Yeah. And that, that, if we count that as a starting point and then work up what's from there, then we'll have a real proper discussion. Because, look, the thing is, if we just, if we just um, roll out um, certain narratives and things, what that does, that's just infuriates the situation for that's put petrol on fire. Well, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What you said at the beginning is lovely, but it's a bit kumbaya. Yeah, everyone wants to preserve life. However, you know, right of self-defence, people in Palestine, uh, the Hamas believing, you know, their land's been, you know, stolen from them, they've got a right to take that land back. People are going to have their beliefs. What do you make, though, of 46% of British Muslims, people living here, probably many of them born in this country, there's actually a higher preponderance of people who are younger in this country who believe that, so more likely to have been born here, second or third generation in this country, saying that they, they are sympathetic to a prescribed terrorist organisation that carried out rape and murder six months ago. See, the thing is, Julia, when you look at it in the full, full context of the discussion, you know, for decades this has been happening to the Palestinians. So any resistance or any... Um, you obviously, said decades this condones. has been happening to the Palestinians. Have, have the IDF been going in raping and murdering and killing children? I mean... They've been, take, they've been taking prisoners. I mean, it's all documented. They've been taking prisoners, yes. They've been, they've been taking prisoners. They've been taking... Not only, you can say prisoners, they've just been taking... You can say hostages on one side because innocent people have been taken into Israeli prisons, thousands of them, even since the 7th of October. Yes. So the thing is, my, my point People is... People get look, taken it, captive by, by, by governments when they're at war, but that's, that's different from taking innocent civilians hostage. You, you, are, you are refusing to answer my question for the second time, Yusuf. What does... You know, what, what do you make of people in this country supporting a prescribed terrorist organisation? The, the thing is, Julia, like I said, because of um, they can't see any other solution right now to, to this, to this, because nobody. Wait, wait a second. Are you saying? Well, no, no. You're saying the people in this country who are supportive of this, and it won't just be Muslims; it will be other people, you know, on the far left as well. You're saying they support this because there is no other solution. There is always no, another no, solution no. other than yes, but, but, killing and the, raping. The, the, the solution is a two-state solution. That's the way I look Hamas, at it. Hamas, I mean, but no, no. Hamas don't support a two-state solution. Yeah, nor does Netanyahu, and look what he's doing. The thing is, oh, Netanyahu is a horrible to... man, but 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 yeah, Hamas but, but, don't yeah, but support what... a two-state solution. No, so how? Do, why is... do these people support Hamas? The, the, the thing is, Julia, like I said, look, the, the thing is, right now, anything on the table to oppose Netanyahu, anybody will go with that. That's the, that's the bottom line. Regardless of what you call it Hamas, you call it, um, what do you call it? You call it um, magic, what do you call it? Yusuf, Yusuf, I don't mean to keep interrupting you, but I'm yeah. just trying to clarify. You're saying that people here and in Gaza and, and, other, and other Palestinian people around the Middle East, you're saying they will support any organisation, any actions of any organisation... Well, as long as they are anti Netanyahu, you realise that no. most of the people no, in no, Israel no. don't support Netanyahu. Yeah, but what I'm saying, it's not about anti Netanyahu, Julia. The point is, when people, when innocents are being killed on a daily basis, and it's not, it's not, it's not just you know, um, it's not Hamas fighters that are being killed. It's you know, it children, is Hamas fighters um, that are being break, killed break, break, as well. No, but what, no, but I'm saying the majority have been women and children. Well, no, that's the claim from the surely... Hamas-run health ministry. Given that half the population of Gaza is women and half the population of Gaza is also children, you're going to see a large number, and, and Hamas hides among the civilian population, you're going to see a large number of, of tra tragically, of innocent civilians getting killed because that's Hamas's yeah, that's deliberate that's policy. Not... Yeah, but that's, that's, not an, that's no excuse to kill innocent civilians. It's not an excuse uh, to target army. them, but under international law, it is allowed, actually. No, no. The, the thing but is, that's look, irrelevant. No, but I'm, 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 I'm still confused. With you. You're still saying you can... Un I, I, correct me if I'm wrong. You're saying you understand why such a large percentage of British Muslims support Hamas because there isn't any see. alternative. No, no, what I'm saying is that right, everybody supports the safety of innocent civilians. Yeah. Now, the thing is, as far as the UK is concerned, as far as the US is concerned, you know, it doesn't seem, they don't seem to be answering anyone's call to, to a ceasefire for, for, you know, for months and months Sorry, and months. Who, who, right? How, so, how would we have a ceasefire if Hamas... Israel accepted the terms of the last ceasefire, which was agreed between you know, people in Qatar and Egypt and the American CIA boss and others. 
It's Hamas that refused the terms. Hamas yeah, could have a ceasefire because... today, right now. I mean, literally, it's 11.35. They could just say, we're going to return the hostages, we lay down our weapons, ceasefire, job done. Yeah, but the thing is, that's only on Netanyahu's terms and his government's terms. It has to be, you know, you can't just say one-sided. We listen to whatever Netanyahu and his but, government say, and, that's, and, and we have to abide by it. But that's the it. whole no, point. You, you need to have both sides. It's Hamas that is refusing the ceasefire. Yeah, but because they, they, they don't, they, they're not agreeing to Hamas's terms as well. But my, my point is, I would agree with Hamas in the sense that IDF should vacate Gaza immediately first. But they weren't they in Gaza about... in, on October the 6th. They yeah, weren't the in Gaza is, they, until they, quite a few days yeah, after October the 7th. Yeah, but it's easy for us to say that, you know, um, Julia. No, but if it's we not easy for Gaza, us to say, it's a fact. If, if, they weren't. If, 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 we, if we lived in Gaza ourselves and under, under the same system as the Gazan population, mm -hmm. right, we would, we would probably be rebelling ourselves. Believe me, you know, the thing is, I've got, people, I've got friends in the I'd West be rebelling Bank. against Hamas, but then I'd probably be killed if I did that. <laughs> no, the thing... That, the, the, the thing, the, the thing, the, the thing is, uh, this has been going on for decades. Uh, the thing, even even before Hamas. But, but Hamas existed. isn't the solution. A, a murderous, is, genocidal organisation like Hamas no, no. isn't the solution. Hamas so is... why do so many British Muslims support Hamas when Hamas it, uses civilians all... as human shields? Why do you think all... that is? Well, first of all, I need to know. You need to explain to me who was asked and where they were asked. Where did this poll come from? First of all, you know, well, I already said it's from the Henry things. Jackson Society. It's by a reputable poll yeah. company. They've, yeah, so they've, the, the, they've the, asked. The, they, they've polled Muslims yeah. across so, the so, country of a so, representative sample of Muslims so, by no, age and demographic. Julia, 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 that explains it all. Henry Jackson Society. Douglas Murray, etc., and, and they have always been anti-Muslim. Every single discussion they've had up to date has been They're totally anti-extremism. They are, they, they are an extremist far-right organisation. You look it up. They're yourself. not a far-right organisation. Of course they are. They, 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 they are completely anti-Muslim. They're anti-extremism. Anti like, Everyone no, should no. be anti-Islamist extremism. Why do you say I, Islamic extremism? Any, any form of extremism endangers They're anti-extremism, but we're talking about Islamist extremism in Hamas. That's no, why I mentioned Islamists. The, what about the Netanyahu extremism? What about the Israeli extremism? Why, yeah. no, why don't do you, you say... Why, why do you mean... I don't like Netanyahu. Most of the people in Israel, by all accounts, according to polls, aren't keen on Netanyahu, but he is a democratically elected, under their system, pre, um, a prime minister of their country. He may not and be so for was, very so, long. But so, so, was Hamas, so, was, so was Hamas democratic... Well, they were elected, what, was elected. it 2005 right? was the last election? Yes, ex exactly. Well, my point is, we're not saying we support Hamas, we're supporting the safety of innocent civilians. No, that, no, that, the, the question right? was about, do you, do you sympathise with Hamas? No, but my point is, Julia, you don't listen to Henry Jackson Society. You, you can't have them the poll, on. You the poll have, was you carried you out by a reputable polling no, agency no, that, which used to work Henry in Number Jackson. 10 Downing Street. Henry Jackson Society, for that, that explains the you all. Don't get you, got, to, you, got... you don't get to write the poll or conduct the poll. You just commission the poll because they're interested to know what people think. Channel 4 no, but... conducted a similar poll after the 7-7 uh, attacks in 2005 and got remarkably similar results. Do you think Channel 4 uh, um, are a far-right uh, anti-Muslim organisation? Uh, look, Julia, the thing is, as we talk today, Henry Jackson Society, that, 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 that's a no-go for me, believe me. That's a, that's a, I won't listen okay. to anything what they say. I'll have to I leave it there. I don't, I don't, believe, a word, I don't believe a word they say. I'm out of time, but I really appreciate your call. Thank you for debating with me. I appreciate your, your getting on the show. Thank you.